Welcome back to the kitchen. You're at the 1870s homestead and my name's Rachel. I just gotta get my hair out of my face. Okay, so I need some flatbread for dinner that we're having tonight. And I've been wanting to try this recipe for a long time. I never have yogurt in the house, so I just ran to Aldi's and got some whole milk plain yogurt. Greek yogurt will work for this recipe too, but it's super fast, quick throw together. I saw it on TikTok, yogurt flatbread. And if it works well, how fast and easy is this to throw together some quick bread? So I'm going in with a cup and a half of flour. And this supposedly makes six or eight flatbreads. And I believe the basis of the recipe is an Indian recipe. So then we need about two teaspoons or so of baking powder. You could use self-rising flour too. I'm using all purpose. Okay. And then I need to get a measuring cup. I, you know what? I'm not going to measure. I, I can just eyeball it. Um, I have like a half a cup. Start with that of yogurt and just add if you need it. So I'm going to go in with, let's start with, say that, half cup-ish. And then I'm going to mix this together. And then when I have it mixed enough, we'll work it on the counter. So that's a good half cup. I think I'm going to need a full, full cup. Okay. Let me get a different spoon. Mmm, it smells good. And I think it's traditionally served with like a really yummy garlic butter. Okay. Like, I think it's really similar to a naan bread. And maybe non, a non recipe is similar like this too. Okay, I'm gonna dump this out now and start working it with my hands. Let me get my ring off. It's the weekend, I'm excited. Um, we're having the kids over this weekend for our monthly purposeful Sunday dinner. I don't know what we're making yet, but if this turns out good, it might be something that inspires me on what to make for dinner that day. I'm just gonna keep working it till I get all that flour in. Okay, can you guys see this better? So, that's real similar to a biscuit dough. So I'm just gonna Kind of cut it into six, I guess. Can you guys hear Todd when he's on videos back there typing, typing, typing away during the day when he's got to work? Okay, um, that wasn't smart, Rachel. That was not six. <laughs> Let me do that again. Okay, cut it in thirds first. There we go. All right, good enough. One will be smaller than the other. But tonight we have leftover shrimp from dinner and um, I wanna do like some shrimp pizzas, like kind of like flatbread. I don't know, something shrimpy, peach salsa maybe inspired. And I'm just gonna take my rolling pin and roll it out. I'm not worried about it being perfect circles or anything. You could certainly be particular about that, but it's fairly thin. Okay. I brought you guys along recently. Um, I don't know how long ago it was. Really trying to perfect homemade tortilla making. And this dough definitely rolls out much easier than that tortilla dough does. Super super light and fluffy feeling.
I just went ahead and got that flat iron um, skillet back there heating up to over medium heat. And then we're gonna butter the pan good and cook them for about three minutes on each side. I'm, I'm surprised it takes that long, so I definitely will keep an eye on it, but that's what the recipe said. All right, I'll meet you guys over at the stove. We're gonna cook these up. I'll definitely taste one, pull it apart, and show you um, how well they do. And then maybe tonight we'll show you, um, if you stick around till the end, what a good shrimp pizza looks like in this house. So no, it's two separate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, and try to like, before you stick it in the fridge, get it like a, a pancake as best as you can. They'll make it, rolling it out easier. Oh, all right. Okay. All right, love you. Like, did you keep working it and working it and working it? Because the butter will eventually, like, should hold everything together. I mean, yeah, it does. Okay. Sometimes crumbs fall off. That, that's okay. Okay. All right, love you. It's better for it to be dry than too wet. Okay. Okay, bye. All right, guys. I did a test run. See how they went. And not too bad. Oops, I just tore that one. So be careful when you pull it together. Or probably, probably should have stacked those with a little flour in between. But that's how it turned out. Pretty good. Let's pull into one. Nice. Hot, fresh. Can you imagine making a yummy wrap for like lunch, dinners? Mmm. Mmm-hmm. So good. Mmm. Spread some butter on it or even drizzle a little olive oil. These are gonna be great. No. Excuse my eating, I'm too excited. I think I'm going to um, like let these cool for the day and then tonight we will actually grill them out on the grill probably or bake them in the oven. So, come together pretty good. Mm-hmm. So that's a quick and easy way though. Like if you're somebody like us, if we have a hard time going through one loaf of bread a week. Like I started making my loaves of bread into like smaller containers or, you know, loaf pans, freezing one, using one for the week. And something like this would be much more economical, less potential for waste and easily make a sandwich out of one of these flatbreads. Getting a little better with them not tearing, so I've torn two, so the dough is super fragile. You can see the little bumps pumping up. I just gave Todd a bite, and he was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is really good. It's crispy and chewy and tender at the same time. Just lovely. So I've just been, like, buttering in between each this uh, pan in between each toss. I think one of the recipe ideas was brush your dough before you put it on, but I think it's doing the same intent. Last one, can we get it without tearing? Let's see. Oh, pretty good. I wanted to show you guys something. Look how good these roll. Doesn't that look amazing? Like, can you picture stuffing that with some good shawarma meat and some yogurt sauce? Oh, I just need to perfect the not tearing the dough. And I did end up turning my heat down like after the first one to like medium low so that they didn't cook too fast. Okay, well, y'all, it definitely is so worth it. How fast was that? Like, literally, like, five minutes of mixing the dough. Hold on, I'll let you out in a minute. And, mm, I mean, you think about five minutes for each bread that you're frying up. So I'm not going to pretend that this is, like, 
any healthier for you necessarily than regular bread. It's definitely, I think, more delicious um, because it's got like, I mean, come on, come on. Can you do that with regular bread? Like that is so amazing. And it made six. There's only four and a half here because we ate one and I nibbled on this half of one while I was cooking them. So beware, they're very, very delicious. And you might need to make more like a double batch because you'll probably be wanting to eat it as it comes off the griddle. Um, but I would store these if it, um, these were gonna last, like we'll have them tonight for supper and probably leftovers for lunch. But I would package these up like in a baggie or a container and put them in the fridge for the week since they had so much butter on them. I don't know that that's necessary, but that's probably what I would do. If you're gonna make a big batch one day, they will store in the freezer um, for like three months. So I think that this is gonna be just a regular Friday routine for me, make up some bread or Saturday and have bread for the week. Because I think that this is, it's gotta be a little bit better for you. It has to be with the yogurt and it doesn't have yeast in it and it's not as much flour. It's thinner than a slice of bread, <laughs> is what I tell myself. So I hope you guys try it, and I uh, hope you like it. We love it, and I uh, can't wait for dinner tonight. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>